Hello, in this video, we're going to be talking about the light dependent reaction. So let's not waste any of your time. Let's get right to it. Now, we have spent uh, seven videos uh, setting all this information up for these final three two on the light dependent reaction and then one for the Calvin cycle uh, so now what we're going to be seeing is that uh, let me back up you're not going to be seeing any new information because I've kind of set everything at least in a general uh, discussion but what we'll do now is to really look at uh, how this is happening why it's happening uh, and all the little steps uh, in between so when we think in light dependent reaction again photosystem one photosystem two in the thylakoid membrane um, the idea of getting the electrons through uh, the system and getting the components uh, built and made uh, that are headed to the calvin cycle uh, but again looking at the diagram and i've got the the diagram numbered uh, to correspond with the with the notes but uh, number step number one part number one which is on the far left above the little z uh, light energy ray okay you got that photo event in other words the photon is being captured or absorbed by the plant molecule okay then that energy gets funneled uh, down to where the electron is okay. okay then in part two and the, the two is kind of hard to see because it's in the blue uh, but it's that funneling of the energy the inner electron getting energized uh, the two if you want to play a little where's waldo is just to the left of the last part of that black line that zigzags through uh, that zigzagging black line is meant to showcase the energy being funneled uh, from molecule to molecule uh, headed to the reaction center where the electron is uh, then the electron once it gets energized enough okay shoots out of photosystem or the photosystem and then gets uh, accepted uh, by some sort of some sort of carrier okay and then we go through uh, the process we get to the chemo the uh, chemo osmosis part where an ATP molecule is made for part four uh, we've looked at one diagram uh, showcasing this on the next uh, screen you will see another one but it's the idea of working through that process to design to uh, create all the components that are needed for the Calvin cycle including uh, the ATP to provide the energy for it okay so again here's a diagram uh, this is the same diagram we looked at earlier uh, but it's the idea of the light uh, and I apologize, that should say dependent. Uh, I got a little sugar happy with the with displaying. But uh, that should say light dependent reaction. Uh, I apologize for that. So do make that correction uh, in your notes. And hopefully you hadn't had a chance to start writing yet. But that should say dependent reaction. Okay. So again, uh, some some other details that we haven't talked about. Actually, I think we have, but uh, we'll emphasize them again. Uh, but photosystem one, okay, its electron, once it leaves, is going to be accepted by NADP. Uh, and, of course, the electron is connected to a hydrogen. Uh, we don't want to forget that aspect of it. Uh, but that's where the H now is, is from. And that NADPH uh, is going to be... Uh, is going to be going to the Calvin cycle and that H is going to be part of building uh, the glucose molecule uh, so if 
each of those NADPs are going to provide one H, then, uh, as you know, because you know the glucose formula, structural formula, that we're going to need 12 of those uh, to head over to uh, the Calvin cycle. So photosystem will be making those, just cranking them out as long as the sun is shining, uh, which we know it always is, thankfully. Now, uh, number two there, uh, the electrons that are lost in photosystem one uh, as it travels to the Calvin cycle gets replaced from the electron from photosystem two. Okay, so photosystem 2's electron eventually gets to photosystem 1. Now, photosystem 2, uh, its electron, since it does travel to photosystem 1, it gets its uh, electron supplied uh, from water. And we looked at that early on. We've looked at it a couple times. Uh, but you can see in the diagram beside me, next to the green chloroplast, the very first part inside the rectangle, is you can see H2O there in the bottom left-hand corner uh, being separated. Okay, so it's being oxidized. And the, then the electron is supplied uh, to photosystem 2. Well, that is our video uh, over the LDR, Light Dependent Reaction, Part 1. Next time, when we come back together next time, we'll be talking about the LDR, Part 2. So we'll see you then.